long time ago, in a mythical land known as Miami, a little VR game was being developed called Veil, and at the time, Veil wanted to be the game that would start VRE Sports. VRE Sports. Uh, no. I think Rec could do Just it. I think Rec can take right, that too. Right. Listen. Now, as a Floridian, I feel qualified in saying that is the most Miami idea I have ever heard. I have no clue if they did it or not. I keep up with esports about as much as I keep up with nuclear physics. But what I do know is they had some of the best guns in VR. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You could fondle those suckers like nobody's business, and it was overall a really quality game. Do the thing. Thank you. No. But after 2022, the game stopped getting new content, except for one very notable exception. That's me! So naturally, everyone stopped playing it. And so did I, because I couldn't find a lobby to save my life. But that's apparently because they've been cooking. Oh my god. It's headshots. It's just headshots. After an entire year, Vale has added really many different things, but the biggest deal is they've added a good progression system. Custom loadouts, baby, custom loadouts. Beautiful. And by good, I mean objectively the best progression system that's ever been implemented. The one that AAA games don't use anymore. Kills equal level up, headshots equal camo. A system so beautifully intuitive that after 2009, it should have stayed around forever. Whew. Oh, that's nice. But at the risk of sounding like an ancient 25-year-old man, it feels like at some point in the last few years, I blinked and every first-person shooter's unlock system became a Sudoku puzzle that can only be deciphered by the Zodiac Killer. Skeetle? You okay? <laughs> oh, no. Um... That did not help. So upon hearing that this was in Veil now, I sprinted to my Steam library, the same way I did when I heard about BattleBit, and I was really impressed. God, I, I have been sleeping on shotguns. Oh, I don't have ammo for it because it's not my gun. Oh man. Oh man. Shoot. I really wanted to relive the glory days of the... 19 whatever 1887s not only was there a progression system with a shotgun at level 16 that i really need to get to before they nerf it there was also map voting <laughs> no no hang on let me make my case team deathmatch huh there were new maps there were new game modes low gravity snipers only let's try jumping yep Whee! Oh my god, that was a headshot. That's never gonna happen again. And most importantly, there were players because Veil vale was releasing on the Quest Store on Thursday. Oh, come on. Man, who took that from me? That poor guy just got bullied. But yet, that's not where this story ends. And to anyone who keeps up with the stupid things I've been doing recently, this is what I've been referencing. Always remember to tickle your gun for good luck. It makes it shoot better. You see, Vale really wanted to make a big deal out of this launch. So they decided they were going to do a PC giveaway. RTX 4090, Intel i9-14900K, 32GB of DDR PCP, NVIDIA Digimon Predator Missile. I'm just going to copy paste the specs. It's a VR capable PC. That's the concept. And they're going to have a bunch of creators talk about it to their audience to really get the word out. And now you may be wondering, why am I so hung up on this PC? And why am I not showing you this PC? Well, that's because it's our PC. It is a smooth brain PC, one of a kind, happy PC. That is a real sentence that just came out of my mouth. One lucky person somewhere out there in the world is going to get this PC and they may have no idea who we even are because again, other creators are showing this to their audience. Oh no. This has been the craziest February. At my real job, the beginning of the year is quiet season. February is usually such a boring month. It was around this time two years ago that I made Daisy ASMR. Eating chips with the wettest mouth a human can have. I do miss those days, but the days I miss even more are the ones where I could play Team Deathmatch and feel like I'm actually unlocking things. It is time to one man army noob tube and become the most hated kid in middle school. Trying to get headshots to unlock camo is bringing back so many memories. Last night, out of nostalgia, I turned on game chat. Just got it. 
<laughs> Biggest mistake in my life, but I did find one lobby where someone randomly said, knives only, and inexplicably, the entire lobby listened. Yeah, grenades, knives only. Grenades and knives only. Yeah, nades, 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 nades and knives, come on. Nades All right, and nades and knives. It was beautiful. It makes my heart so happy that the law of the land still states when someone calls knives only, it doesn't matter who they are, it doesn't matter why they said it, that is legally binding. Happy knives and nades. <laughs> We did knives and nades last time. Because before custom games were added into Halo, these were custom games. You just told your friends the rules. Michael Myers, cops and robbers. I could go on, but the nostalgia is starting to give me chest pains. Top 10 things on my bucket list. Get shanked by my favorite YouTuber in VR. <laughs> it is really cool to see a VR shooter stand on its own like this. Most VR shooters, I play for the mods, and there's no levels or prestige or nothing. But this feels like its own AAA game. He's on nine deaths and negative two kills. Okay. Him, okay. Let him do his own thing. <laughs> it makes sense why there's people playing it again, which is exciting for me because I still have that skin. They still pay me for this skin, by the way, if anyone wants to buy this skin. This is still my skin. I'll link to the giveaway in the description. In addition to the PC, they are also giving away 10 Quest 3s because I guess Quest 3s just grow on trees now. Oh my god, come on. What is wrong with me? Okay, I'm not putting this in. I cannot put this in. Oh my god. <sighs> if you have any questions for me, and it's the day that I posted this, I am going to be streaming this game at 2 o'clock today. All of this information will be on the exam, so I would encourage you to attend the study session, but if you are watching this in the future, the VOD will be up on Twitch. Just take three good notes and submit them in the Canvas assignment page. Ow. I've been your very grateful host, Chuck Walnuts. I hope whoever this reaches that something good happens to you today. Ooh. 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 Like this video if you want to, but love yourself even if you hated this video. And if you do decide to give me the privilege of your time again, then I will see you on stream grinding up for that shotgun. I need that shotgun in my life. And also in the Atomic Mirror Brain section, it's a hobby, it's fast engine, AG. Albanians, <laughs> VR Central. Ah! Sale VR is free, new job, both have financial decisions. Doug, I play Brick Acid in a certain amount of time. In Argentina, Atomic Mirror Brain is only $4. Sign, Greg's Stop it. Get some help. Goodbye.